Nerd School is a member of the Queen City Podcast Network. Welcome to Nerd School. Nerd! 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 Yeah. Suck it, nerd! 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 Uh. Welcome to Nerd School. Uh, and this is the first ever Nerd School uh, class episode without the professor. Minus the professor. The professor's gone. So now the, what all, we all know what happens when the professor's gone. The TAs get sexy. Can yeah, I no. say this? Can we no. say? Can you we say start the, the episode with? Can I say this? <laughs> yeah, I am yeah, re-apologizing because... to all listeners at this moment. They couldn't keep it together when I left for an episode. Uh, thankfully, on this episode, I can keep these two full straight. I was just, <laughs> I was just gonna say, can we exhausting with the professor not here? Can we really call it a school this episode? The episode of school. I mean, you're still class. You still in class with your TA. You're teaching. Sometimes assistant. your professor's sick, or it's like it's like when you have a substitute teacher, and yeah, like back in high school. I used to get with like dittos, right? They just screw around the whole time. Yeah. Right. Play kick football or whatever. You know what I mean? Well, well, I'm, drinking, I'm drinking triple sec. Lord help us. I used to get movies for substitute teachers. That was movie day. So, yeah, some teachers know. had movies, but some had dittos. They tried to act like they were giving you yeah. something to do. N- mine never did. So, it's dittos. fitting that we are talking about movies. Dittos. What's a ditto? You know, like a worksheet where it's like, Whatever the class, let's say it was math. Yeah. It'll be like some, I don't want to say generic. Yeah, it'll be like generic uh, questions, math questions for algebra. Yeah, like, oh, ditto. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, ditto. Yeah, you know, like, I forgot that. You term. Have this, the little thing that you turn the knob and it'll crank out using the um, carbon copies and be like, here, pass these out. It'll be like, Carbon copies. This generation, something these kids will <laughs> never yeah, the kids, know. The kids listening don't know what that is. What's a carbon copy? Paper? Back in my day, we had carbon copies. We made multiple the, the one sheet. <laughs> I, I remember my my first job. We had uh, that's how we took credit cards. Yeah, you, yep, you still had to, card and you had to get a swipe the card, swipe, swipe yep. the card to make a copy of it. <laughs> and if people would be afraid you're trying to steal the information <laughs> because well, how, you like, didn't yeah. see the numbers. Yeah, yeah. You, you have the their numbers, numbers from then on. Like that's you're crazy. essentially making a copy of their card before copy machines. Like, yeah, hurts hurts kids. Carbon copy. But most people just wrote checks then. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Let me like write a check. Yeah, but who still has a checkbook? I have to dig. You I... write checks. I used to write checks at the grocery store. I had to write yeah. a check. I mean, I think we all wrote checks because yeah. you didn't go to the ATM like that. And Can you imagine a kid cards... writing a check? Like, what am I going to do? A zoomer, imagine them writing a check at the grocery store. Can I write a no. check? <laughs> Uh, well, first of all, you know, I have kids in this younger generation of adults. They aren't writing checks because that will require them to sign their names. Yeah. And one thing that they never learned in school is a damn signature <laughs> because the school system decided who needs cursive. So yeah. my oldest, who is now an adult, he's like, how do I sign my papers? And I'm yeah. like, you got to practice something. It yeah. Hey, my son's signature just looks like a bunch of capital letters writing his name in caps like he's a two-year-old. Yeah. <laughs> well, because they never learn. Like that was something we had to work on learning. Like you learn to print, mm-hmm. write and print, and you learn to write in cursive. It yep. was a part they're, of elementary. They're just never gonna grow up because my son, so he got his license uh yesterday. Oh, look he at him. His, he got his driver's license, he passed. Now his buddies, his buddies didn't have to take a test because of COVID. They just got rid of tests. So you just have to have this trial license forever. So, but now they're taking tests again, and he didn't know it till he got there. So we had to take his test, and both my wife and I were like, "He ain't gonna pass." <laughs> we both were driving. Us, I was like, nah, "He ain't gonna pass." Anyway, but he got it. He passed right away. He said it wasn't much of a test. He didn't drive very long. They don't do maneuverability. Yeah, but he got it. He got home, and I was like, "Do you want it? Do you want to take the car and go?" drive around go do something by yourself like for the first time so like oh, i guess i gave him 20 bucks and I said here go have fun don't do anything crazy 
and he was <laughs> he was back home i don't know 20 minutes later i think and he went to walmart <laughs> and he bought himself a a box of cookies a, a box a bag of candy and some uh, cream soda <laughs> that was a celebration <laughs> like if a six-year-old who got his driver's license that's what he i would mean go buy he's, cookies candy, he's still a and kid soda. Yeah. he just happens to be able to drive now so well I, that's what i told him to snack out as much as we were making fun of him and we we're like you know they i'm glad he didn't go get drugs or you know booze drugs. or anything Listen, that's something to think about. Uh, sometimes when my kid is upstairs playing the game, I'm like, oh, but I'm also like, mm, we we have, I have no grandkids already, so that's great. Yeah. There, I haven't had to go to rehab for either one of my children. <laughs> that's great. Yeah, Like, I will take you gaming over any, and you know, I haven't, it's not like watching those TV shows where it's like all the worst that can happen, but I know kids who went in that direction or are really estranged from their parents because of all that stuff and i'm very thankful yeah. for my for my gamer kid keep them nerdy keep them nerdy. Keep them ner- the moral of the story is keep them nerdy but not to the point where they become incels keep right <laughs> <laughs> and what's the key there like how do you avoid that i wonder like i mean there has to be some other sense of socialization and you have to teach your son's how to behave the socialization you got to teach them about to respect women i think that's part of it and i think also yeah. if, if they're gaming as well like you know you like you're like not, not hovering but then still just be aware pay attention of, to what they're yeah, doing who the they're gaming talking community to. yeah because like the gaming community yeah. in general Hell toxic. Like, yeah i think we've talked a little bit about how like you have a certain set of men and a mm-hmm. certain set of women who've taken kind of sort of over a certain part of the gaming community and they, they've sexualized it. Yeah. So then you have like these guys, like, you know, women will say it, 99.9% of women will say it, men don't mature as fast as women do. Yeah. It's a true, so it's factual. Where, where it's is that actual. doing all this thing? They're, they're, they're getting views, they're getting like, you know, some of these pe- men and, and also some women, yes. they're watching these gamers and they're like becoming somewhat entitled, and they're, and they're like, you know, I'm subscribing to your channel. You owe me things, yeah, right? Yeah. So, you know, it's, which it's, is it's, not that's like yeah. you're two seconds away. Like, imagine that thinking if you have a child out in the real world, right? Mm-hmm, if mm-hmm. your child goes off to college and goes on a date, and that is from sitting in these worlds where their thought process is, I took you to dinner. You owe me something. Which sounds outrageous, but it happens way too often. Still happens in this 2022 of Beyonce's um, internet that people are still out here behaving in such a manner. And you see all these PSAs that are like, women, when you go out, make sure you do A. Women, make sure you do B. You know what the easy solution is? Men, don't do stupid shit. (laughs) (laughs) Like that's... Instead of telling me, like, always with a buddy, watch your drink. Men, don't put shit in drinks. Ta- ta-da! But, That's the solution. Yeah, the problem yes, is as just women, too many assholes running around. And you don't know who the assholes are. But we're always teaching our daughters and, and so many people and some of our sons, like, be careful of these things. But how often are people really going, dear kid of mine, don't turn into this kid? Like, I, I have had that conversation with my kids for a very long time. Like, you know, I have one that's an athlete and you see all these videos where these college athletes get in trouble because they, you know, brought strippers to the house and they assaulted. Like you see all these stories, right? Or like mm-hmm. one person did it, but everybody was there. No one stopped. There. I literally, when my kid was, <laughs> when he first started playing for school, probably middle school, I was like, I swear to the good Lord, if I ever catch you <laughs> in any of these, I will murder you myself. Forget a lawsuit. You are dead. <laughs> and I mean, I don't care if you're like, well, I didn't do it. If you were in the room, if you saw them take someone in the back and you didn't go get them and bring them home, I'm coming for you. <laughs> we are not a bystander. We will speak up and say, that's not cool, guys. And go, I don't give a damn what happens to your reputation. You do not let anyone harm another human but again not every kid is did you say did you say what happens to your reputation 
Yeah, it's like a repartee and a and a reputation mixed together. Yes. That's it. <laughs> you just but, invented a new word. It is. It's what I'm good for. But yeah, it unfortunately we live in a culture sometimes mm-hmm. where um, men aren't taught that, yeah. and so yeah, and I say men, yeah. women can be predators too. But statistically, where yeah. anyone tries to come at us, statistically. Well, it all probably stems just from people not being, like you just said, being raised right. Some people mm-hmm. are raised by people mm-hmm. who are pieces of shit or not raised at all or raised here and there. Or, or it's not even raised by individual parents. Think about society as a whole, as men, right? You guys are men. Society has always told you that you are the stronger sex, right? Right. You've got that messaging since you were little. Don't mm-hmm. run like a girl. Don't hit like a girl. You have gotten right. a message even subtly that you are better that's just ingrained in society so Pop why culture, do you value yeah you like a woman right you like a woman for what she could do but there aren't there are too many men who don't actually like women like because you don't value them right. truly value them mm-hmm. you know oh, it's an epidemic preach <laughs> right right i know welcome to the special <laughs> episode where tbj just talks this- about people being trash yeah or she schools art <laughs> trash and <Joe. laughs> well, i want i want the world to be better and i don't know if you guys are on the tiktoks but tiktoks is in the middle of a controversy because a, a good guy she's putting in quotation marks a good guy who spent so much of his career talking about his wife his wife his wife um was caught cheating wait this, this is a, a celebrity or a tiktok this story? is they are a YouTube group of dudes. They're called the Try Guys. Oh, I, oh okay. I've seen about I saw that day. trending and I don't know what it is. So, can so maybe you've seen that. the Try Guys. You've seen their YouTube videos. I guarantee yeah, they have a Food up Network one. channel now. I mean, they're aware now. now? Food Network. They have a, they're food a YouTube channel, channel, the Try Guys? Yeah, because the girls yeah. are called the what girls? The food. What are they called? I forgot what the guys. I don't know what the girls are called. I just no, know that like, the one. I've never, I've never seen these guys before. You, well, they, they, they've been dissing themselves from the one guy now because he cheated on his wife. But so which, the, the which crazy guy? thing is, Ned is the one who cheated. Well, the crazy thing that has people confused, and I'm not confused because people are not inherently all good, is <laughs> that he spent so much time on this show talking about his wife. Like a big chunk of who he is is like, dad husband my wife my wife you know my wife my wife and my wife he's, he's all of that on her? with a girl from the show a woman from the show and I, I think i did before. see something like how she posted i guess he said something on oh, he got fired? instagram a gram yeah. about being sorry and then she seemed like she still supports him well he posted basically that his entire life has been about you know his priorities of his life has been about family family right he lost sight of that priority and when he lost sight he did have a consensual affair with um are these guys mormons are these guys that mormon comedy group i don't know if they're mormon i I wouldn't be surprised yeah. Well, basically, all that, that, that food but she that just show. asked she just asked that uh you know family's important give us privacy that's all she right. asked is this like a children's comedy group no no, they no look what like they the wiggles like, are they the wiggles they are not <laughs> the wiggles on their food show what they do is they'll try to recreate restaurant and fast food uh, um recipes without any instructions or knowing exactly I guess what exactly is in there? I've never once seen or heard of these. I've never before. listen. I've seen a couple of things about it. Like what this try guy shit? Didn't you know? Then eh, whatever. And then today, I think when I was going through Twitter, that's when I popped up on scene, and I was like, oh, I like read the People article. People are losing their mind. And the thing is, anyone is capable of bad things, and I think we yeah. forget that. Like, listen, if you came out tomorrow. God bless it. It better not be a Hemsworth. But if you come out tomorrow and say that Hemsworth did the thing, <laughs> I would Very cry. Fair. Yeah. But also, the Hemsworths are human. Allegedly. Would you burn all your Thor movies? Alleged, probably. You I'd can burn a couple of them anyway. <laughs> I'm well, not burning any of them. <laughs> I thought the Try Guys were trending. I honestly thought this because I saw on Twitter they were trending. I saw Seth Rogen say, who the fuck are the Try Guys? I saw somebody else saying, I think this is a joke. The Try Guys aren't 
anything that exists, but everybody's pretending like they exist. No, no, they yeah, exist. That's what I thought it was. Yeah, because all they these exist. comedians didn't know who they were. So the, yeah, it's a gang of four guys, and they you know started off. And apparently, the, they have a really big YouTube following. I think they have like over yeah, two that's because that's where they started. They started sure. there. They have a pretty good TikTok. It's four of them, and I did notice, ironically or unironically, I don't know. I'm tired. Misuse of words. Yeah, I did notice <laughs> in recent content they were only showing three of the guys. Yeah, and I was like, in my brain, I was like, one of them must be on vacation. <laughs> um, and that was maybe uh, two weeks ago, a week on ago, an extended or vacation. And then yesterday, everything was like, "Ooh, I think this is happening." Ooh, oh my god! Now, mind you, please, listeners, do understand that I do know the whole world is on fire, and I'm not going to deep dive, but pay attention <laughs> to what's happening in Iran. But this is this is a little pop culture world because we are a pop culture. MCU podcast. So please do but, not. And there's a good chance that you're the only one out of the four of us, TBJ, that has ever heard of these fucking guys. Like, well, yes, I but were. I don't want anyone going, oh, there are bigger problems in the world because they are. Women are dying because of their head scarves. Okay. Yeah, I know right. that. And there's a I hurricane will. coming. But this, yes, the I mean, world is on fire. Shit. Yeah. Our little Ron corner DeSantis of is the a piece podcast of universe. Yeah. Is <laughs> well aware of that. So don't don't at me and say, oh, you guys are talking about frivolous things. Yeah. I mean, that's what well, we here's do. another frivolous, but also a cool thing. Uh, so the try guys, I don't not know anything about them, but just looking at their picture reminds me of that comedy group Studio C. Have you heard of that? Those guys, yeah. I think, are, are Mormons. They're out, yeah. they're out in Utah. I oh, think they're, they're Utah. They might be Canadian or might be out in Utah. But anyway, my kids loved it. It's all clean, but it's like I think they're Mormon or something. It's like a Utah comedy thing. Anyway, my kids loved it, but they were always very uh, white. I noticed. I uh, mean, uh, when you said Mormon, Utah, I knew. and Utah, yeah. those Utah Here's guys. Some context clues that told us they were going to be hella white. But my not news, to say, not my, to say that there are people of color in Utah. Yeah, there right. are a few, not many. But my news on that is Charlotte's own and Queen City Comedy's own Gabby Moore, who just headlined at Wax yeah. Up Tap House, who is in Improv Charlotte, and she's a she's a comedian. She's got a one woman show. She does. She's ultra uber talented. Mm-hmm. She just did she just got back from utah yeah. filming uh the next season of studio c there i guess it's their uh 16th season which i didn't know they had 16th season i didn't even know they were still around or whatever but gabby moore is on it now is on that show yeah so it's coming out pretty soon so anybody who listen to this podcast Go friend support. of the pod Gabby Moore, we all love Gabby Moore. A hilarious woman. Yeah, you met her, right? TBJ. I've Moore, met yeah. her, and we did an epi- We did an episode of Ladies Who Rocks. Oh, that's right. You worked together in Nerdy Night. Yeah, she's just, yeah. and she's just a great person. Besides, she fact, is. she's hilarious and uh, talented. She can act. She can. I I think she can sing. She does voices. Yeah. She just has. She well, I remember because she, not the last one, but maybe two before of the ladies rock she was like i can't because i have to go to utah to film something yeah. and i thought what the hell's in utah yeah <laughs> <laughs> and then she posted like she posted herself while there and, and more came to light um you are right they are mormons because they were all students at brigham young at byu yeah so and yeah. T- so tara brown went to utah and did a dry bar comedy special there's also a comedy special oh. stand-up things that people jason allen king went out there and did that too so i think i thought she was doing that or i assumed but, yeah. so this is even cooler that she's doing sketch comedy yeah I, I didn't get a chance to talk to her about how she got this gig or whatever but super she's proud of her reps. yeah more of the story yeah. uh, is we know cool ass people yeah she i mean <laughs> she's somebody she's a lot like tara brown like she's somebody that when you see her perform yeah you're like oh shit yeah, she's gonna be gone. Like yeah. she, she's not gonna talk to me in five years. Like she'll be. No, you can't think that way. You make right, your you best friends. Yeah, and so even, even, even you though they're famous, they forget that you are not, and you're still. Yeah, you're still. Yeah. I, I, listen, I feel that way about Joey Deutsch. Yeah, I'm like, how she's do I know rising her? Star, yeah. Right, she's past rising star. Like, you yeah. know how many years I listened to her on freaking WFA, yeah. yeah. and then to be like sitting, <laughs> sitting in rooms with her, I'm like. I do know. Yeah. <laughs> I am cool. Yeah. There was a lot of times when we were working with her on stuff that I was just like, 
Joni, just hearing her voice makes me want to eat Bojangles because she always did those Bojangles commercials. Yeah. The freshly steeped iced tea and yes. from biscuits yeah. from scratch. And I'm like, so, oh, every time you talk, Joni, I want Bojangles. <laughs> she is a powerhouse herself. She is taking over the world in the realm of podcasting. And she's yeah. supposed to be a part of a documentary coming out. Really? Wow. Yeah. Uh huh. She was yeah, well, she was that. in a movie. She was in a yeah. movie movie too, where she they needed somebody to play a host of at an event, and they had her Please. do it. They flew her somewhere. She's going to be in a movie also. So we know people. That's yeah, we know people. Just, just now we need to get those people to donate to our lives. Right. I'm not above riding <laughs> coattails. Uh, we will ride <laughs> coattails to get to the top of Disney. Listen, to get to the top of Disney. What Disney, gets me Disney. into the Marvel Studios? One of these, <laughs> one of these MCU shows has to have a podcast. Right, and we could be uh, that one. Like a you know? Joe, you're supposed to be close personal friends with Don Cheadle. Make cheese? it happen. Yeah. Get the cheese. Get I'm going to reach out to him and say, hey, remember listen, when we listen. met in Chicago? I'm okay, I'm okay with biting the bus. I'm mean, biting the bus. Biting the death. You know what I mean? Blow <laughs> me up. Listen. Like, drop a building on me. Like, oh, we're yeah. in the middle of talking. Yeah, we should be podcasters who get killed in our podcast studio or saved right, by... Right. Save. Let's get saved. Let's, let's yeah. not get well, I, well, I think they'll, they'll like they'll, they'll save TBJ. But and me and you, Joe, oh, yeah. and Andy, we'll go down fighting. Right? Andy and TBJ will get saved. Art, you and I will be the guy barfing on the bridge that like <laughs> <laughs> who falls out of his car that throws right. It's like, oh fuck! Did you just see yeah. that? And then Andy will be like, oh guys, it's, it's, it's just a superhero. <laughs> Listen, I do want to know for anyone who is tuned in, you basically are tuned into the most ramblingest episode yes. of Nerd School that you're ever going to get. But here's but the thing: it's you're also, getting pieces of our personality, right? And, and it's also a different type of uh, from the last time one of us wasn't here. The last time one of us wasn't here, you could we not right. We went completely off the rails. Yes, because standards and practices wasn't here. But now this yeah. is an episode. We're standards and practices. So, you know. Yes, we can ramble, <laughs> but we can keep it PG. Yeah. Because y'all by yourselves can't. You can't. <laughs> You've proven. So we were in Civil War. We were talking about Civil War if we want to yeah. jump in. We don't have to jump in. I mean, we've already done half an hour of just bullshit. I mean, it's a nice go break into. for the audience to get to know a little bit. Well, I do have a right, Disney. It's a nerd. Also, oh, but yeah, it's also ahead. one of those things where it's like, you know, not to, not to sit there and discount any of us. You know what I mean? Like, let's say, for instance, there's one day when I'm not here, right? It's like, oh, Art Star is not here. So we're not going to hear some this, this self-deprecating, you guys won't let me be great. Or any, like, <laughs> so we won't hear so. Can I say something? Can I, can I just right. say something? The well, listeners like, listen, will listen, revolt listen, if there's an art listen, star. Listen or whatever, listener. whatever. Probably. You know what I'm saying? Or if TBJ is not here, we've seen what happened when she's yeah, not we, here. We see what happens. <laughs> but but like without Andy, especially if we're diving into something, Andy's like, he's like, he's like almost like the cog, right? Like we're all wheels, <laughs> right? We, mm-hmm. or we can run independently, right? But then Andy is that one cog that's in the middle that, like, all of us just spins off of, right? He can bring it all together. He keeps us right. connected and together. But, but even, he also even, can't. He he can't take it if we say something that's blatantly false or wrong. Like he right, but, see, but see, that's the thing. Well, we that's just, good though. We, we want to be factual. Out, we should just have, throw have, out a bunch of blanket have, incorrect statements right now. You like, have, Yes. Or yes. is a creed. You do that to Andy. Uh, yeah. You have yeah. standards and practices, and then yes. you have you have the underwriter, right? Which is there Andy. He comes back. He's, he's basically <laughs> the underwriter, and like so, with him and him and TBJ together, they're like HR, right? That's exactly <laughs> what we are. So <laughs> and then me and Joe together, we're like we're like we're like what happens? You're a writer you mix, waiting to happen when, when you when you mix mix an acid with the base. Right, we're highly combustible. I was gonna yeah. say, well, you and I together are like when you uh, <laughs> when you're already drunk and then you decide to smoke some weed. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, it's 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 a combo that only works uh, when you have no limits. 
Yeah. <laughs> no limit soldiers is who we are. We are right. No limit With, right. Wait, Wait, Joe, you said you had a Disney question. Oh yeah. So a Disney thing. So a, a nerdy is is you know since we all get our nerd most of our nerd shit now from Disney Plus. Mm-hmm. There's rumors and there's talk of Disney Plus starting to show ads. Have you guys heard this or what do you know about this? Who's got the scoop? I haven't seen any. I don't know if I, I mean, heard. I haven't heard it. I haven't seen it. I was watching Disney Plus this weekend. Um, is, is this supposed to be going up? I've heard Netflix so, and Disney Plus are both supposedly going to start showing ads, like commercials now, or at some point. Like they're talking about it. Maybe it's I, coming at some point. I well, mean, I think it's, I've seen it. TV. You the can reason yeah, I thought probably, about it. The reason I the reason I. It's fresh in my mind because just today I got an email from Disney saying we're updating our, you know, how they always update their their terms of service or whatever. Mm -hmm. And it didn't say that, but it said, I don't know, it was a bunch of like mumbo jumbo. It seems like that might be coming next. Well, I mean, there's a lot of companies that are are raising their prices and adding, you know, yes, adding new services where they're adding ads to it. Yeah. Supposedly to kind of sort of make it cheaper, but then December also December eighth, it launches dates and pricing, and has new streaming bundles. Yeah, so there's but like aren't, new... aren't you already grand? Doesn't it have something about being grandfathered in or something? Yeah, there's gonna be like different tiers. So right. I guess it is um, so the less you the pay, current... the more ads. Because I did the, I'm on the one where I get ESPN and Hulu all mixed together. Yeah, mine is Hulu on and Disney Plus. And, and it's a real and cheap. I, it's super my, cheap. I pay for, I pay four dollars and twenty eight cent for Hulu and Disney Plus. I live in a household yeah, where my Hulu is my mama's. Mm-hmm. Uh, my Netflix <laughs> is my mama's. One of them is my sister. Oh yeah, like my like I use my sister's uh, Netflix. Yeah, yeah. my mom uses sister. mine. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and then like my cousin uses I think my like, oldest has Disney Plus. That's the worst when your cousin or someone's like, hey, hey, what's your password? Hey, what's your what's your Disney password? And see, my thing is I'll take advantage of all of these awesome sales that we have. Like I got yeah. uh what is it, Peacock for a dollar ninety nine a month for for the for the whole year. Oh, that's and then cool. when I got Peacock. I I literally sure. canceled Disney Plus and then got it up again when I could add it. To Hulu for only ninety nine cent a month. Hey, oh, get like those deals, was, baby. Get those deals. My Hulu, I got. Frugal. I got and deal. Black Friday for like two ninety nine a month. Nice. So, what did yeah, you get for two ninety nine? Uh, Hulu. Don't pay for anything. Oh. <laughs> Do you, but has it got commercials though? Art Star. Hulu? Yeah, it has the ads. It has the ads. But Hulu's you can. You ads. only have to watch so much of yeah. ads. But see, that's the, that's the thing they try to hook you into disconnecting cable. But all of these services. That you get if you don't want to have the ads. By the time you add up Hulu, yeah. without ads, you say you so you got Disney Plus at regular price, price, regular price, regular you price, have whatever, whatever <laughs> other damn shit at regular price without the ads. It's like seventy, eighty dollars, which is why you go in with your family. I love <laughs> TBJ, and y'all just split. Who got what? Aren't they I cutting would... back on that though? Aren't they going to start policing that? Isn't that the rumor? <laughs> They can, can try, but I've been on my mom's Netflix lose. for so long. Is you really about to kick me off? My mom will cancel Netflix. She will call and argue with y'all. Y'all because <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what you don't want. You don't want Henrietta calling to yell at you because she is a lot. So if you think I'm I'm right. me, I was curious. <laughs> like, just imagine having TBJ coming at you. Yeah. Nah, my mom is my mom is worse. Okay. I I I can be sweet in the process. My mom was going to come straight out the gate with the <laughs> wrong. When I was in college, they messed up my room assignment. You know how you can, um, between years, you can squat your room means, you know, I'm saying I'm staying in my room, right? So I squatted my room freshman year to sophomore year, but I had a solo room. I had a single room, which was uncommon for freshmen. Yeah. So I oh, squatted shit. my room. I came back sophomore year and they gave my room away. Ooh. And it was like, how do you give my room away? And they thought it was an error in the system because they were like, we saw you were freshmen. So that was the senior side of the building, whatever. This is Henrietta calling. Henrietta calls housing. 
They go, oh, blah, blah. Henrietta goes, eh, wrong answer. Put me up to your supervisor. They start talking. Henrietta goes, eh, wrong answer. And she's making the noise. She's not just she's literally going, eh, like a buzzer. Eh, wrong answer. Let me talk to your Try supervisor. It. She gets all the way up and then she says to the last person, eh, wrong answer. Let me talk to your supervisor. And they're like, ma'am, we are in charge of this process. There's no one else. And she goes, there's always a boss. Right. Now, <laughs> Always the one above the next person. I got my single room back, not my exact room, same building, different side, but it's the size of the room because they got try to get me in a smaller single room. But Henrietta is a force. I respect <laughs> her, but don't make her angry. Is that so for TJ T T J B T G B. I can't talk. That's, your T-B-C. Set. T-B-C. That's where T B J gets her fierceness. It's a combo. They're both parents because the Bryant side is is a lot too. So, is that but Henrietta see, Jackson? I married a Jackson. Is that Henrietta Bryant? Uh, no, well, oh. when she was married to my dad, but they're oh. not married. They got divorced when I was a senior. Oh, cool. um, my dad is a Bryant. My mom had been married to my. They married. But she's not H B J H B K. No, H-B-K. she's H H-H. H. <laughs> she's H H. Triple H? Oh, H? No, double she's H. no middle name. She's double no middle H. name. Double H. Just a double H. She's a badass. She's a badass. That's where I get her from. Kick some ass. She'll kick you right in the no, neck. No, I dare, I dare Netflix to tell her. No. <laughs> <laughs> I dare them. I'm scared of her just like uh, just <laughs> from that description. <laughs> I mean, so am I. It's fine. I go to lots of therapy about it. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. I told her one summer, I don't know what she said to me. I said, mm, that's what my therapy bills are so high. She goes, what do you talk about in therapy? I said, you? She said, do you talk about your dad much? I said, mm Really? <laughs> I love, listen, if my mom ever catches the episode, love you. Love you. You're yeah. the best. <laughs> we love Henrietta. So proud of you. Yes. Um, no, I think we'll see. I don't think it's a bad thing. I feel like we are so instant gratification that we're used to not watching commercials. But I can't imagine networks make money. I need the break. I think my, for me, my ADD, I need the break anyway. So when a commercial comes on, but I, just, I can't I'll imagine them doing it, it with their movies, though. Like I can see like their mm-hmm. older movies, but when they do like their day of and re- like Marvel like movies their- are gonna I doubt suck. they'll do it with those like yeah. premium movies. I doubt well, even their do premium those. shows. I can see like some some of the older content that's you on don't Disney think Marvel too. movies will have commercials in them? No, I think you might have it at the beginning, but I can't see them sitting like you sitting there. You're I don't watching- think they're gonna stop. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna you're watching this three and a half, this two and a half hour movie, three hour movie almost, and all of a sudden you gotta watch some um um Lutruda or whatever else th- commercial I think what I hate about the most about these streaming services and when they add the ads they're not in the a normal place like when movies right, used to be like, on TV yeah like, movies used to be on TV they'd put them in a natural break but they put them right in the middle of a sentence sometimes and you're like wait a right. minute what the f- yeah or or like not even like a climax it'd be like something's about to happen something hasn't isn't about to happen something <laughs> is like at the middle happen yeah. right you're like uh, like wait what happened then you're looking like it's, and, then if it then if it has rewind. the buffer then yeah. if it does a buffer yeah you can't rewind. yeah if you rewind then it goes back to another commercial too far yeah and in some cases you go to hit the rewind or whatever and it jumps you up to the very beginning so now you're like fuck it what they should <laughs> do is you can skip the ad if you buy the product like or like it's gonna be like, just um, buy these socks. Like, like you want a thing that says I got. I don't know if me spending money on every ad they have is worth me skipping that. I have patience. Maybe not every. Well, I, like, I I still am good with patience. But make sure the ad like, is geared towards me. Like I only yeah. want to see. Well, see that you have to accept companies. cookies. Then, like when I ask you, do you want to accept cookies? You have I to love agree cookies. cookies. Chocolate <laughs> chip. But um, uh, services like Spotify sometimes they'll say if you listen to this ad for the next thirty seconds. You know, the next yeah, sixty you minutes will be free or yeah. something like that. Like Hulu does it sometimes. Like they ask you which ad would you like to see, and you get to pick which ad. And then sometimes yeah. the ads will be geared toward that one that you pick. I mean, other times, like I said, it'd be some Katruda or Forenzi or whatever else kind of pill that they're talking. Like the well, I love that you're naming the actual pill. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm saying I'm wrong. 
I don't even know. Like, I'm just, you know, I don't even know if you're saying I just, right. I, guess, just, like, I, started, I started to say Viagra, but you know, that was uh, that's an actual name. Like, just, thank you for mixing. catching yourself. I love it. Good even job. though I still said it. <laughs> you did, but you didn't say it in a way that I had to be like, ah, eh, ah. Eh. So good job. Eh, wrong <laughs> answer. Eh. I just want to say random words then. No, <laughs> no, we just talked about decorum. We are not. <laughs> we are not. Art starts in a giggle already... fit. He's having a giggle fit. <laughs> Look at him. He can't stop laughing. Hi, right, I'm back. I'm we back. need Joe. You need a I'm track. Like, we need I'm to like, have Art hey, having giggle here's a, fit. Here's, and a, here's a nerdy connection. Here's a nerdy connection. The hard like, part is we all start giggling when he giggles, and then everybody talks over. Each I'm other. like Arthur Fleck mm. from the Joker movie. When he just starts laughing and giggling, I never saw that. That's movie. who you are. You never seen Joker? No, not yet. This, we haven't uh, talked about it in the nerd school. We, you should watch it just we're because not over in DC territory. It's so. a great piece of piece of of cinema with Joaquin Phoenix. Well, speaking of other nerdy see, things, like so Joaquin there's another Phoenix nerdy thing. thing I'm doing lately. I, I was listening to a podcast with Pete Holmes called "You Made It Weird," and he had Kevin Smith as a guest. Uh-huh. Kevin Smith. Oh yeah, he's coming. So he's coming to see. Yeah, he's coming to our theater to do Clerks Three, and he's a super nice guy. When he came for the last show, he was super cool and super nice and very friendly to all of our staff and very cool. And so it made me want to like support him more. And then on this episode, it was like a two-hour episode with with Pete Holmes. He starts mm-hmm. talking about they start, we're talking about clerks and chasing Amy and some of his old yeah yeah shows. So I was like, you know, I never really watched. I watched them a little bit here and there. Like everybody's watching them in college, at, but you never yeah. focused on watching. But I didn't really pay attention. So I've gone back so far. I've watched Clerks. All while I'm still listening to this episode, the same podcast episode in my car. Like 45 minute drive there and back. I'm still not done with the episode, but I started. I watched all of Clerks, and I'm halfway yeah. through chasing Amy. How do you and, like chasing yeah. Amy? That's so far it's pretty good. It's you know, I are like you, the, are you, are you focusing any on the comic book aspect of it? Oh well yeah. I was I about to say, was Joe gonna be like, is there a comic book? Aspect? Well, I so right now Jason or not Jason, uh Jason I forget Lee. The name. Lee Lee is fine. He just found out uh Stan Lee is there and he's all you know, he's all excited with a comic book. Stan Lee, how how do I not know? But but so far uh Silent Bob and Jay are Doing their Roadrunner, uh, Wiley Coyote type stuff, like they're making all these plans to destroy. God bless them. them, and that's kind of funny. There was in Clerks, there was a moment that was jarring because it is from 1994. Yes. So there's some moments that are like, ooh, you know, there's yes. really just one that I, I mean, there's a lot of real sexual misogynistic things, but there's like mm-hmm. one like. They say that F slur for gay people, which yeah, was is very jarring now hearing it. I'm sure in '94 it wasn't as, you know, it was more common. People still said it then, but it was like, oh, yeah, geez, oh, because you know better now, right? Your yeah. brain's like, ow. Hold I mean, on. I, I, of course, I knew better then, but you know, I'm sure I was. Boys not, will be. It was the boys will be boys attitude. It was that then. attitude. That, I mean, back still then. going on people now. Still but said. I'm about to say more. that hadn't gone anywhere. Yeah. I'm sure people still say it now, but the only yeah, people I, I will say much. the only people, people get I called out it, more for it now. Like yeah. if you the only people I hear it. say it are gay guys to each other, like messing, you know, yeah. like messing with each other. And yeah. you get, I think we live in a world. Although some people are like, oh my god, cancel culture. No, it's not cancel culture if you take accountability for what you did, right? Yeah. If if a collective group says, "My man, you cannot do that." And right. you go, you're right. I apologize. Moving forward, I won't do that again. No one's canceling you. It's when you're like, I can do what I want. Yeah. I can do what I, I, I want. I want. That people are like, world. never mind. But we live in a world where you have to be accountable. You know, I, I have been around a lot of children in my life. And the one thing I say to kids that some grownups are missing is you are free to say and do whatever you want. However... There are consequences. You are not free from consequences consequences. and repercussions, Claude. Yep. (laughs) There is repercussions. That's that whole thing when people claim the uh whatever the amendment, the free speech amendment. Yeah, the first uh, amendment. The first amendment. Where's my right right to free speech? You got your right to free speech. Yeah, you can say whatever you want. You might get an ass whooping. (laughs) You be careful who you say it to. You say it to the wrong person, and then you crying because you thought she was gonna get sassy over in the corner, and the woman said, Not today. 
Not yeah. today. <laughs> not today. You got you right. You're gonna get it. You got to get it. Maybe you should right. on Karen. Yeah. Yeah, you absolutely have the and the same thing with like yeah, isn't there something with like uh court and whatever? Like you can yeah, you can say whatever you want, but yeah, you can admit you but know, that's life. And I yeah. feel like people like people forgot that or they like to pretend consequences don't happen. Cause guess what? Consequences happen in all directions of your life. Yep. Right. If I walk out this house without my shoes on, I might step on glass. It's a consequence of my choice to not. And put that is on. only because TBJ, when she's done with her vodka bottle, uh, she breaks it. it right there outside the door. Yeah. Right. Like I'm christening my house. Yeah. Um, you know, there are consequences in every way. There are consequences at work. If your job is to do X, Y, Z and you're out in the public acting the fool, maybe that's not the job for you. Don't take a job where your public image matters. Yeah. Right. You know, don't do it. Don't do it. Do yeah, we see star. Chris Evans out here in these streets getting slammed? No. Right. Well, that's the well, other thing. Some, it's I like they something. always say. I've seen something. I've seen something. <laughs> somebody. Was it Chris? What? It was, either, it was somebody famous. They did something, and Ooh. it was just a screen. I didn't even look Before at it. Before you attempt to slander my my Chris but or was, my Hemsworth. Is this it was, one of the Hemsworths was, or the Evans? It was a screenshot of somebody, and, and they did something. Like, I forgot what it was. That's but so it was like, not specific was, in any way, shape. Or only reason because, like, now I, I've lost it, but it, I forgot what it was. It was, it was somebody famous. And the only reason I'm, the only reason I just thought of it just now because you were sitting there saying like, you know, someone did something or whatever, and like, and they're in the public eye, you know, people are going to recognize them for doing certain things. I think mm-hmm. I seen the same time I seen the thing about the try guy. Like today, today I, I did nothing really but do a lot of falling down the. YouTube and Twitter rabbit hole. Like today, yeah. I found out about something called the Lola Bunny Challenge, and I'm like, "What the hell is that?" I don't even know this. Don't do not look it up. I'm not. <laughs> I, if not you went up. down a rabbit hole, it doesn't seem like anything I want to look up. Wow, so, we're okay. <laughs> well, the old <laughs> adage just... rings true. The old adage is, "Don't climb to the top rope if you're not willing to do the flying elbow." There you go. Rule 34. Your wrestling term. <laughs> there you go. And Joe's you other wrestling You gotta jump off. Podcast. You gotta do some move. Right. You can't, you can't just be up there. You're famous, sir. You know? Or no, maybe the but you have to take... Famous there's a reason... Like, there's a reason that our PR firms in this world, right? Because people can be trash, but you know what yeah. What rich people have? PR. Uh, they have public relations people. They can afford it, yeah. Who are probably pulling their hair out for stupid shit that celebrities do. But or you have some that just don't act out publicly. I don't know what you do behind your closed door, but you're not out in these streets acting a fool. But then there's a percentage of them too, I think, that are doing shit just for the publicity. It's like you haven't heard about so and so in a while. Oh, they're acting crazy and you know, jumping into a Christmas tree. Oh, they're I mean they are they do. I met someone last week who was like Is it serious? You met someone? Is it serious? No. Not to date. Remember, I don't like that many humans. Stop oh, yeah. it. Um, <laughs> I met somebody and we were talking about celebrity and whatever. And she goes, oh, my brother-in-law married an actress. I, don't, I can't remember the actress name, um, but she is famous. She's British, though. And I was like, how did that is happen? Kira, Kira Knightley? Nice. Kira Knightley doing Time anything? Be new She's too. British. Um, but the, you know how they got together? They were set up as a PR couple, uh, and they actually happened to simply well, like almost like what's that movie with um? Uh, is it uh, Ernest Rogen. goes to jail? It's one with Seth Rogen and Catherine Heigl. And then uh, is you talking about movie. the one where he's the writer? The um, Knocked yeah. up. And then there's also no. a movie with the sexy Sandra Bullock and the even sexier Ryan Reynolds. Speed. Are you talking? Wait, that, the one with Betty White and reality. Ryan Reynolds, they're the one where she goes up to his family's cabin. And Betty White's in that one. Right, yeah. That's the proposal. Betty White is one of the golden girls. Yeah, I think everybody knows that. Yeah. Joke. <laughs> <laughs> good job. Good Hope job with floats? your knowledge. Were we thinking about Hope Floats? No, that's, that's the Harry Hudsucker Clinton proxy. Jr. Now no, I'm just Sam naming Robbins. You are. I think, listen, it's time for bed. 
<laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and call this episode a random random. I'm just gonna shows. keep naming let, movies let until you Can guys I finish hang it on. off. Can I finish it off? Lord help us. Interesting. Who do you think has the best giggle fix, Joe? Me you. or we Ron Funches? Oh, Ron Funches is, is great at it. He's a great giggler. Um, yo, that's tough. Yeah, he he's a really good giggler. Okay, me or Scooby Doo? Oh, definitely Art Star. Here's the thing when I when I, I was feel younger, like you're similar to Scooby. Doo. You're a close yeah, second was, to when Ron. I, when Funches. I was younger, when I was younger, whenever I giggled or got giddy and did and went into it. People used to sit there and literally call me Scooby Doo because it's like yeah. you sound like Scooby Doo. Like there's that Scooby Doo laugh, yeah. and it's just one. Of, it's almost I like can see that. Was, it was very Pillsbury Doughish. You know what I mean? Yes. Like that, poke it in the stomach. Pills yeah, boy, uh, Pillsbury Doughish. That is the accurate. Yo, boy, don't call me Dough Boy. Yo, boy. Oh boy. All right, listeners, I'm sending these guys to bed because someone's punch you know how, drunk. You know how you could actually Listen. drunk. And then our star and I are going to cover the here's, Dr. Here's Dre the the Chronic album. No. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. You can really send us off to bed if you just say one word. No. Nope. You know what it is. I am simply going to say good night. <laughs> you, know you know what Thanks you Thanks for tuning in to the, the random chronic. randomness what you, episode. What you have to do, Joe, joke. is one that day. That should have been <laughs> episode two of Civil War. That was not. I want the bomb. <laughs> I want the This chronic. is episode. That was the episode that goes wrong. <laughs> this was called Behind the Podcast. <laughs> Personalities make out. my bud the chronic. I want to no. get fucked up. <laughs> Lord help us. So catch us next time where we actually go back to talking. It wants to get war. high. So, so high. high. And I, I promise this it. won't happen. It's from the bong. <laughs> it will happen again. It's from it's the bong. Nah, we kept it. Mary. Mary. But you are a little cuckoo. Also, shout out to Andy. And Andy, also, we missed like you. Say, Mate, I would also we, like to say, I shout out to Gruff. Yeah, shout out to shout Gruff out to from Gruff. the Gruff and Loud Show. Check out the Gruff and Loud Show on YouTube. Woo-hoo. It's picking up steam. It's picking up steam. Good. Well, listen, we're not too far away from Two Sisters in True Crime. Lord help us. Yeah, we got to get that going. And we're, Art Star, we're. Art Star can be a special guest. Yes. I feel like I would get attacked. We're talking about true crime. Did you commit some crime? Do you need to use that? <laughs> I, I'd be like, well, you know, I think that, you know. Yeah, there's no thinking. It's like actual, factual, <laughs> true crime. If someone only loved him as a kid. Yeah, No. Well, and then Art's gonna also spin but I, off I do, his, I do love his YouTube crime, channels, ASMR channel, where he just <laughs> eats sandwiches. The there microphone. you go. That's boring, though. Nope. What ASMR people love it. They want to hear you eat. I, but see, I feel like it's boring. What if it's just that's a me fetish. just, just sitting there show? and you I'm just eating reading. on the toilet? What if I'm <laughs> reading random texts or ran- no, I'm reading random tweets there that I just happen to like? find when I fall down the rabbit hole. There you go. Could be. Everybody has a spinoff. Go, right. Andy, your turn. Come Andy, on, you're spin-off. next. Andy, correct anything we got wrong on here. Well, we didn't talk about anything, so. <laughs> <laughs> the episode about nothing. <laughs> this is the episode where Andy doesn't get the shit on me. What? <laughs> you bring it on yourself. I think he loves it. He probably does. He probably He does. has a dream in his head of thought three people in one shit no not. <laughs> Joe's oh, never shooting on you. Right, yeah. but the one people shit that was Andy. Yeah. Andy the shit. Andy wants me now. I like it. You We're gone off the rail. They say I can't rap about the president no more But evidently they don't see we in the streets still poor Still more incarceration of my kids been by the prisons And people thinking this election to end it racism Proud of a pessimism, glad to see Obama But don't expect me not to speak out when I still see problems Mr. Officer, now they POTUS look like me You gon' think again when seeing brothers rolling down the street Every Martin Luther King on his American dream Still a Rodney being beaten, screaming fuck the police Me, I'm running through the pasture, trying to get away from master But the dogs is on my ass, I gotta move a little faster Can't pass for Caucasian, but I got a couple papers From the plantation saying I graduated, congratulations, congratulations. Cool 
but to most school me Tryna digest TDs, living off government cheese Trust the government, please, not even if it was me Sitting in the Oval Office as Commander in Chief Trying to give us us free, but there's a nigga in my ear saying You got it Superman, you ought to keep it here Get this distinctly clear, I'm all about jetting Raps come to Kente without the half-stepping A new chapter, packed with new lessons After that, the final exam, any questions?